Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. I got my riding hair on. You guys know what that means. Today is Sunday and I declare every Sunday from now until the cold weather riding day, unless something happens and we end up not riding that day. But anyway, I wanna ride every Sunday, 10 a.m. waiting for the girls to get up so that we can ride. I already did a big, huge uh, cleanup in my garden. I picked through and got a ton of tomatoes. I got a few cucumbers, everything. It's a jumbled mess, so I'm gonna try and clean up a bit. I need to get a bunch more uh, beans and peas. In fact, I think I can get all the beans and peas and take everything out. They're starting to dry up and think these are done. Think they're done, you guys. Like, look at that. Posey's in heat. It's the only time she comes to the fence. She knows where the boy is. And she's just squealing at him saying, come over here, big boy. And he's like, I can't get to you. <laughs> right, I'm a quarter of the way finished. I'm just trying to get like all of the stuff that's done pulled out and I have to finish this whole row the peas are all done the beans I still have more growing pumpkins are really turning orange though they're tiny I need to get like bigger pumpkin seeds are you in love posy pig are you in love <laughs> that's why you were cuddling up to me today she was snuggling with me in her stall and she never does that I thought it was because she loved me but really she's in heat <laughs> isn't she so cute and the goats are up there. <laughs> they are fighting each other. <laughs> I got Ellie with me. So uh, today, the other job that I need to get done before I, I'm gonna put more water in there for them. Before we go riding, is I need to clean this area up. We don't really need this fencing anymore because it was for the duck and the goose and it's causing like us a big mess here. Sam's gonna take that down. I'm gonna come down with my lawnmower. I'm gonna get that all cut up, cleaned up. It's like fall time, you guys. It's fall time cleaning. It's like, it's the time to clean, to prepare for fall. Just filling up his pool. Ellie's like, wait, that's my pool. <laughs> Don't scare him. <laughs> well, we see who won there. All the people who think pigs are mean. <gasps> They're not, they're lovers, they're not fighters. Isn't he looking so cute? I don't know why. I don't know why he looks cute to me now. This pool needs to go. I need to get another one like Posey has because it has a hole up on this end. But lately it's been leaking at the bottom too. <laughs> Ow, Winston, you're pushing me. Go ahead, get in there, Snickers. Go ahead, get in big guy. Ellie, you stay out of his pool. He needs to cool down. Maybe the water is helping him to like look different because he looks more pink. Ellie, stay. It's filling up, that's why he doesn't have enough. Oh, he's scratching his bum. Apparently that's a very itchy spot for pigs. You like your pool, big boy? Yeah, you do. You do, you're so wet. Oops, I still put sunscreen on him and Posey. His is starting to wear in. I use that zinc, just like zinc diaper baby cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, that stuff is amazing. It stays on for days. It protects like nobody's business. Ever since I started using that, I've not had any problems. And if they have little cuts on them or anybody has little cuts, if I put that zinc diaper cream on it, it heals that stuff up. It heals up a cut in a day. Anyway, I'm making this video because my sister doesn't believe that he swims. <laughs> he loves water. Yes, he does. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi, big guy. <laughs> and he's afraid of everybody. <laughs> but not 
at the pool. See, my dog, my animals are so good together that they even know how to take turns. And now he's scratching his head on me. Everybody wants me to fall over. Oh my gosh, I'm falling over. <laughs> I really love pigs. I know yesterday I said I really love birds, but pigs, man, you guys, if I had a choice, pigs. You know how when something loves you so much, you can't not love it? That's what pigs are like. Like they just, like look at this guy. He's new here. And now he's acting like Posey. Yeah, he's a good boy. He was so scared at first. <laughs> Ellie's like, oh, we'll swim. And now he's just settled right in and is such a love, just like Posey. Anyway, I love pigs. I read something recently that said that when animals are like this with you, it means that you have a high frequency, a high vibration. When they just like surround you, where they all, whoops. Where they all just come and try and climb up on you. Oh my gosh. You won't believe it. This guy just totally came up, pushed up against my side and tried to climb up on me. First time. <laughs> At least pooped. Winston, stop chewing my cord. This is my second batch for today of all the stuff that I got. I'm just gonna throw it in this bag. I was able to pick off a ton of tomatoes as well. I don't understand about these cucumbers. So when a cucumber is ripe, all these little prickle things on them and they will go away. And also they go this color when they're overripe. And these cucumbers are not overripe, so I don't understand it. But they start out green. I swear there are new types of varieties of everything that you can imagine under the sun now. Like there are new types of apples being made every year. New types of everything. I have lots more cucumbers coming. It almost seems like this kind of cucumber is a different kind because this one will be ripe soon. These ones in this section are growing super green, but the other ones are just weird. That's my third cut of lettuce for this year. And I picked a ton of tomatoes. Like these ones are almost about to turn red and something was eating my tomatoes. So sometimes I pick them now and I also like to have a few fried green tomatoes before the season is out. But look at that sucker. All the ones I got off this branch are so huge and all in really good condition. These ones will turn red in the windowsill because they're already on their way. And that is it. This is about 20 pounds, man. Fancy meeting you here all by yourself. She's just chilling. You're just chilling? That's a good trait. All right, I gotta go get my horse. Okay, go get your horse, Gabby. Uh, Gabby, did you get your horse? All right, let's do it. Like, okay, tell me, who's the eager beaver? Who's the eager beaver here? Sophie, are you or are you not completely ready to ride? I'm not. Oh, you gotta tack up still. But she's ready, man. All right, let's go, Gabs. Gabby, if you come down, you might be lucky. Hi, Penny Pickle. I hate that they don't ever sweep this barn. You wanna come with me? She just shook her head, yes. If anybody's worried, or wondering about my finger, I got it lanced today. It, the infection was starting to move all the way down to my knuckle and it hurts so bad. I told Penny yesterday, do you want to ride tomorrow? You gotta to tell her the day, she's like Gabby, you gotta tell her the day before, and then she'll be ready to ride. Usually when I go out with a halter, she's like, nope, not me, not today, but today she wanted to go. All right, so Sophie says that her horse is getting really good at choosing her saddle pad. I also taught Posey how to kiss today, it was really exciting. All right, just wait, let me go back She's here. like, but I already told. She gets it now. She hears somebody in there. Come on, Missy, I gotta tack my horse up. Which oh. one? Oh, she's choosing different now. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows that she has to pick one. She chose this one first. Yeah, navy would be beautiful. Always go with the first choice, right? Right, lady? Sophie also always gets the best spot for tacking up. I don't understand it. Gabby gets the second best spot to tack up. Let's go. Five. Four, 
Three, two, one. I forgot my gloves. Okay. Storm, listen, we're doing hills today. We're going on the grass and you're not gonna throw a fit. You're not gonna wanna stop and eat the food, the grass. You're gonna do what Gabby tells you. Let's make a plan right now. Who's going in the lead? Me. All right, I'm good with that. So Sophie, uh, Gabby and I are going slow. If you take off, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. If we take off, just me and Sam. So the only one who's gonna have control, the most control over their horse is me, but my horse is an idiot. So you're gonna have no control. So, so you're. No one's gonna have it. <laughs> Dude, I forgot my bridle. I need to go back. Do you guys see that? My little posy pig. I love her. We all we all came back for our bridles. I never left. All right, where's my bridle? It's out there. All right. Man, it's out there. It's over here. It's out there. It's in here. Kill me. I, I actually. In that, she you're... doesn't like pressure on her nose. Well, she's you used to. Her. She does good in a bit, so we wouldn't change that. But I'm going to change this for maybe after this ride. I decided to, I'm going to do something different. Okay, my plan is to use um, a halter and add a bitless piece. Do you guys know what that means? I'll have to show you. But I have like a piece that can go on a regular bridle and turn it into a bitless, into a rope halter. Hi, baby. Don't come in here. Hi, are you taking care of her? Are you the nanny? And there's the chicken. The chicken that belongs with the goats and the pigs. All right, Pen, are you ready? Let's go, Missy. Looking so cute. Because this is her like every second. If Penny I know. Penny she's looking at everything. That's why she's like Storm. She doesn't get spooky. Because she looks. <laughs> Oh, and there goes Stormy. So I tried this to check the saddle. She's you guys, my bugs all over the place. I get so paranoid. Yeah, like if tender. I'm the one on the craziest horse, she's not standing. <laughs> if my horse, your horse acts different than normal, I get paranoid that she's not okay. I get paranoid like that there's something bothering her. I like. I want to take her feelings into consideration. Is your saddle tight enough? It should be. Oh, it's loose. So, even though I love her and I want to ride, she's not like, ever since, at the end of last summer, she started to kind of slow down. And she's old. You want that or you want me to take it? Yeah, you take it. Will you make it on again, right? No. And then I get so paranoid that like I'm hurting her and I because I'm bigger than Gabby and even though she looks fine and she's moving fine the fact that she's slowed down stresses me out and I'm not like enough I don't know enough to like be like like she gets Prevacox for arthritis she doesn't have horrible arthritis she's just starting to get a little bit older and she's starting to feel her age but like I don't know you guys I mean, she seems, she seems fine now. She seems happy now. Yeah, she's going now. So Sophie says that it's because, so Gabby's been telling her, like, you can't just go fast all the time. You got to slow down. And so that's why she's going slower. But there she is out there going fast for Gabby. So once again, I'm on foot nine years later. What? Yeah, lady's ready to go. She is. She's like, stop holding me back. My horse is fine. My horse, I know, but 
she I like to listen to her. She's never said to me, hey, can we go home before? She always says, she always does. You gotta tell her, no, we're going this way. When I ride her, she gets excited when we go home, but she never tries to take me home. She gets excited when she goes anywhere. Okay, Mommy, you have to help us here. All right, you go ahead first, Gabby. No, so I told Sophie to try not to gallop her, her, canter her, because she gets excited about the canter. She didn't ever canter before we got her, or before Sophie started cantering her, so it's all new to her. It's so weird to see Gabby on my girl. System. The rescue here, this girl is doomed. Dark sky and burning fire. I'm faster to escape these lies. Mountain water running free. Take the bad luck away from me. Wind blows like the sun in a breeze. So, in our lesson, in Sophie's lesson this week, she got lessons on like how to slow her down and teach her not to just burst into the canter because that's what Sophie likes to do not good for for lady so I missed it all <laughs> because Sophie just thinks that she needs to get it out of her system when she gets a little tired she won't have as much energy and then she'll calm down and Sophie likes to go so it works both good for both of them but the coach wants her to learn how to like circle and how to ask her I don't know I have to watch the lesson again but anyways they worked on they worked on going slow, and Sophie clearly forgets. Hi, Pran. Even though I'm off now, she tries to come back to me. Sophie thinks that she has so much energy. Sophie said she just has so much energy, and she enjoyed that, and now she's calm. So, do you remember all the things in your lesson? Do you have water? No. Do you have all the things in your lesson? <laughs> Penny's excited. She's like, come on, let's go back. <laughs> wow, it's hot, you guys. That moment you realize you have to go all the way to fields to get out of this thing. <laughs> the air is thick with snow. You still rather ride her even than Storm? Yeah. Scorching, you guys. It's good to ride on hot days. It's not like, I mean, it's warm, but that's why we rode early, but it's good to ride on warm days so that your horse acclimatizes to that. What? How inspirational. How inspirational. Funny. All right, I'll go rinse her down. I literally just power showered my horse. Power showered her. And she just stood there loving it. That is not my horse. I don't know what, see like anytime something changes, I don't know what it's about. And it makes me confused. I should have gave Penny a carrot. She had three. She had three carrots? She was good. Tell them what you said about the cantering. Um, she needed to get that out of her system and then she was good. She said that once she cantered and got it out of her system, she slowed right down. And was good. She was just expecting to can her, so once we can her, she was like, okay, we're good now. I love that they're like, they know the routine. They're like, okay, it's shower time. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?